In this video, I will walk you through the steps to download and install Zapromp Pro for Windows. On our website, zapromp.com, you have two options for downloading the software. The first option is by logging into your account if you've purchased the software, and you'll see a download link there. Um, we'll get into an account here. You'll see the serial number for the software, which is a long number. It's like four sets of eight numbers separated by dashes. There's also a count on how many downloads you've made and how many remaining downloads you have. And then you'll see two links for the different versions. You have a PC version and the Mac version you can download. The other option is to download the trial version of the software. You can do this on the home page by selecting the button that says download trial. It doesn't matter whether you're downloading the software from your account or from the home page. All Zapromp Pro files are the same. They can either be activated as a trial or activated as a full version. So we're here on the download page. We're going to go to the bottom of the page. You can read the system requirements to make sure that the software is compatible with the computer you're installing it on. Type in your email address. Select the version. We're going to select the PC version and then select the download Zapromp Pro trial button. On the next page we're going to select again to download Zapromp Pro for PC. We'll tell it to go ahead and save the file. You, every web browser has a different way of saving the file. But the file has been downloaded. Now all we have to do is double click on it because I'm using Mozilla. If, if it was downloaded to a desktop or any other location you just have to find the file called zappromptwin.zip and then we'll open it up and it's opened in WinZip and then we're going to extract the folder content to the desktop. And so here it is. So we're going to double select the setup file to start the installation. And basically the installation should start automatically and you're going to see an installer to say Zapromp Pro 2.0 installation. Just go through the entire installation process. It's going to um, give the software license agreement, um, the install path, a few other things. Just agree to everything if you want to install it. And then on the last step, you're going to have an option to launch that prompt pro, view the readme file, and visit our website. Well, we already seen the website, and we don't really need to read the readme file right now, so we'll just select launch that prompt pro and then finish. All right, so the first window you're going to see when you start Zapromp is the activation window. Here, let me get rid of some of these other windows in the background so you can see it better. Close that, minimize that. In the activation window, you have three choices. The first choice is to start the 30-day trial. You simply select the button that says trial and the 30-day trial will begin immediately. After 30 days, you will not be able to run Zapprop Pro. The next option is to buy now. By selecting this button, you'll navigate away from this page to our website where you'll have the ability to purchase Zapprop Pro. And then the next option is to activate. When you select the activation button, you will already have purchased Zapromp Pro and you'll have a serial number and be ready to activate it. Let's go ahead and select this button now. A new window will open, which is the activation dialog window. It's going to give you some choices. The first choice is to activate later. By selecting this button, it will close everything and you'll have to start this process over the next time you want to activate. The other two choices are internet activation and manual activation. There are some instructions on this page that walk you through these, but I'll just kind of summarize them briefly for you. The internet activation is basically a process where the software connects to our server and does the activation process behind the scenes so you only have to enter a little bit of information. The manual activation requires you to write down this web address that's here at the bottom of the window and this request number and go to another computer and go to this address. What I'll do first is show you the internet activation. 
By selecting the internet activation, a form will pop up and it's gonna have some fields that it'll require you to fill in. The first and most important one will be the serial number. When you purchase Zapprompt Pro or if you purchased any other product that contains a Zapprompt Pro serial number, you'll enter that number here. This number is in this format. Then you'll be asked to enter your name, address, and all your other contact information along with your email address. Once you've entered all that information, you'll just select Activate Now and Zapprompt Pro will be fully activated and you will not have to repeat this process unless you want to install it on another computer. Now let's take a look at doing the manual activation. The manual activation is a little bit more involved than the internet activation because it requires you to write down some information from this computer, go to another computer that has an internet connection, and enter the information into a web browser. What you'll do is record this web address, the https colon forward slash forward slash www.safeactivation.com and what follows that. Then you'll also write down the request number. This request number is unique to this computer. Every computer will generate its own unique request number. Then you'll go to the web page. Since we're connected to the internet on this computer, we'll just select the link here and the web page will open. But you'll see the safe activation form. And what you're going to do here is just enter all of your information in these fields. All the fields that are yellow are required. Here at the bottom of the form where it's asking for the request number and the serial number, you will write down the request number that you brought with you from the other computer and the serial number that you received when you purchased the software. The serial number will need to be in this format. After entering all the information in these fields, you will hit send and on the next page you'll be given an activation code for the software. Now all you have to do is go back to the computer that you're trying to install Zapprompt Pro on, open up the activation dialog again, hit the manual activations tab, enter the serial number and the activation code that you just received from the server and select activate now. Once you've done that, Zapprompt Pro will be fully activated on this computer and you will never have to deal with this dialogue again. I strongly urge that if possible, you do the installation of Zapprompt Pro using an internet connection because it's a lot easier and a lot less to deal with.